In October of 2023, I rode the Cumbrus Toltec narrow gauge train, and it was called a photo train. Why? Because they loaded up about 50 of us photographers, and we headed out before sunrise from the small Colorado town of Antonito. It was still dark and definitely chilly. One of our first photo stops, they dropped us off, backed up the train, and here comes the first train of the morning. I like this shot as it had a nice backlighting to the steam that was billowing from the engine. It even looked a little pink to me. Here are a few of the photos I nabbed from that particular location early morning. They would stop the train, the photographers would get off, they would back up the train and then come toward us. That's what a photo train is all about, allowing the photographers to get different views of the train as it was coming toward us. This is a shot I call sagebrush flats, wide open. And it was kind of funny because the reason the screen is tilted is because that camera hood in the foreground is my camera mounted on a tripod. I was shooting that with one hand while holding up the GoPro in my left. So it was kind of funny because I have really no idea if the GoPro was uh, shooting the right things. Here's a still photo of the shot and you can see no train tracks. So we hop aboard and ride to the next location. We rode in these box cars. You can kind of see inside the box car, just a bunch of wooden benches, several cars, and you can sit wherever. Here is a shot, beautiful fall colors, fortunately. And some were really in peak condition, seeing not only the bright golds, but some oranges uh, mixed in there for good measure. One of the stops along the way years ago was what was called Bighorn. We did not stop there, but it was neat to see the sign. And a shot of part of the crew that helped us out that morning. Here's what's called a run-by, where they've backed up the engine and then it's coming toward you and you click away. Again, I was shooting video here and ended up with this still photo. One of the neat views was this trestle shot way up above the ground to get over this canyon and I call that side steam. I don't really know what the official phrase of it is, but it's a neat shot. And we hop back on board and you can see in some spots it was very open and somewhat barren. But as we got higher and higher up, the colors became more vivid and bigger aspen groves all over the place. One of my favorite shots was this tunnel shot that uh, had this beast rumbling through it and it was pretty cool, I liked it. One of the things a lot of the photographers tried to do, and here we are shooting from this open car, is to shoot as it's turning or curving so you can get the engine as it billows out the black smoke. Some of the aspens are planted quite close to this narrow gauge train tracks. Made for a 
neat shot to just see how vivid gold the aspens were. One of the good things about the ride was you could go from train car to train car. You were not pinned down to one location, so many times to get the video I came up toward the front to capture the Aspens and the train engine when it would go around a curve. They provided a tasty box lunch about noonish, and then we started heading downhill. It was an all-day event, that's for sure. We ended up getting back to Antonito around 4.30, and they invited us back around 6 o'clock, 5.30 thereabouts, for sunset shots of the train yard. And that was kind of neat because you could see the mechanics servicing the various engines for the next day's ride. Often when the train would be going up the incline, it would slow under the strain of pulling all that weight behind it. As you can tell from the video, when the sun was up higher, it was really a beautiful day and we could shed a layer or two of our clothes from the sunrise coolness. Well, check out my other videos if you like this one, if you're a train buff. I've got one of the Durango Silverton train here on this channel. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.